What's up, guys? This is Rise, and welcome to another edition of Spicy Saturday, the show where the teams are made up. The ELO does not matter, and it's all about the spice. And I know what some of you are thinking. Rise, oh my gosh, how can it be Spicy Saturday when there's a Claude Sire on the team? Well, Marcel, the, the, there is a Claude Sire, but there's a double nuke Shadow Machamp. Close combat Stone Edge, not to mention paired with a low kicks. It doesn't always have to be Ghost Pepper, XL, Zorua, Spice. We've got some clever little niche jalapeno, maybe some habanero level Spice in this video with close combat Machamp. And we're going to see if it can one shot some unsuspecting foes. Here we go. Claude Sire into a Steelix. Interesting matchup, right? You got the super effective Earthquake to threaten, but Steelix has these super effective Psychic Fangs that will slowly add up. And now you go for the Earthquake, throwing on alignment. We don't like to see that, but it is Spicy Saturday. So we forgive the throwing on alignment. <laughs> um, Steelix going for another Psychic Fangs here and going to chip away at the Claude Sire. We're throwing out alignment again. If Steelix shields this, it can get the full farm down. So let's see what happens. They let it go. Okay, so the opponent kind of doing us a favor, in my opinion, by letting that Steelix go down. Now, here comes Low Kicks. Low Kicks is going to put up a shield on the Aqua Tail going straight for the Trailblaze. This would one-shot, potentially, the Quagsire. If it lands, gets the shield. And now there's a Clod. Oh, man. Well, it's a good thing the opponent swapped in because... Machamp wants no part of this Claude Sire. That is one of the best answers right now to Machamp in the Great League meta. But now look at these sucker punches chunking, double buffed, doing so much damage here. Sludge Bomb comes through. I would just go for the X Scissor or make the catch. Okay. I see you, Trainer. Catching onto the Claude Sire, a Sludge Bomb. And now going to go for the Stone Edge, recognizing that Stone Edge would be enough. Oh, okay, never mind. Going for the Earthquake, actually. Earthquake coming through. Going to knock out the Clot Sire. This will leave a farm down for the Quag, which is a little bit menacing here. So maybe you come in with Low Kicks to absorb the energy first before coming in with Machamp. Or do you just come in with Machamp? Okay. Yeah, going to come in with Low Kicks. This will probably grab the final Protect Shield and may set up the Machamp. Here we go. And it's a charge attack priority. This is best case scenario. Now Quag's not going to have as much energy. And it's a stone edge. Quag doesn't have much energy at all. Karate chops away. Close combat is loaded. And this is going to come through. And it is definitely going to knock out the Quagsire. <laughs> nice little game one to start things off there. Here we go. Claude into Dunsparce. We see the safe swap low kicks. Um, Yikes. Honestly... I don't know if you want to save swap low kicks here. This is like not great for low kicks. Maybe you would have rather just stayed in with Claude Sire. Um, there we go. That was good timing. That was four sucker punches. So it gets the trailblaze off. And now we're going to see another rock slide from Dunspar. It's going to just let it go at this point. Okay, so kind of just taking your losses. Comes in with Machamp. They come in with Charger. Do they know? Do they know that this Stone Edge will potentially one-shot them? Stone Edge. Bang! Bye-bye, <laughs> Charger Pug. Oh, my goodness gracious. In comes uh, Azu. A little bit of a core breaker here, but both Pokemon at least have some play, right? Poison Stings are going to slowly add up, and you have some neutral charge attacks you can hit it with. So, Azu does pretty well against both of these Pokemon, but it's not like they can't fight back with their own attacks. Here we go, Earthquake. Grabs the final shield, and if you can get off... Okay, we're going to see Drill Run here. I like this play. Put it on Machamp. Can you get a full Karate Chop down, maybe? Um, oh, you actually get to a Stone Edge before going down. You may even want to undercharge this a little bit to give Machamp more farm, but now this is going to be a race. Machamp's going to have to get to two attacks here. Can Machamp get to two attacks, two Stone Edges, before Azumarill gets to... Another move. I think it might. This is going to be close. Azu might be two bubbles away. If Azu's one bubble away, they win. If they're two bubbles away, they lose. Oh, we're settling for cross chop. Oh, wait, no. It's close combat. I forgot. I forgot. It's close combat. It's definitely enough. 
We didn't get to see it. That's unfortunate. But uh, yeah, close combat hits so hard, dude. <laughs> That's the double nuke for you. Um, yeah, you're just so used. To Machamp has been around since like the very first season, really, of PvP. It's been in. It's been at least part of like the secondary meta, and um, you're just so used to it always running cross chops. So <laughs> I was like, wait, cross chops not enough. Oh, the whole video is about close combat rise. Very nice, Stone Edge. Coming through onto Victory Bell. They're still running Victory Bell. They're living in the past. They're not over their X. Low kicks. Going to Sucker Punch down. Leaf Blade. Oof, that's a lot of damage. Gets rid of this. Is there a Bastidon? Don't tell me they're still running Bastidon Victory Bell. Trainer. Trainer, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? And uh, yeah, I'm sorry to break it to you, Azumarill, but... Down two shields. Machamp is not going to have this. Machamp is not afraid of you. If shields were down, maybe this would be your time, Azumarill. But shields are up. Good, sir. And uh, we're going to see Machamp absolutely be a menace to society here. Another Stone Edge. Will this knock out? Yes, it will. Wow. And then just goes for the close combat. It is not often you see something do this much damage to a Bastidon. But here we are. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Great lead. Into Ariados. Looking to go for that Stone Edge straight away. Ariados probably going to fire off Trailblaze for some neutral damage. And it can slowly ramp up. So I would think if Ariados is willing to expend like multiple shields here, it can probably get clawed low. But... This is just the this is just not a good situation for Ariados. You're gonna have to put yourself at a disadvantage in terms of shields to try and get out of this. Going for another Stone Edge is probably gonna pull the second shield from Ariados already. And now do you shield this or do gonna let it go out? Do you do you still live? You still live and get to the Stone Edge. Oh no, dude. We're winning the 0-2 against Ariados. Oh my gosh. Well, we snipe with one karate chop. Holy cow. In comes Mandibuzz. I'm sorry, Mandy. This is going to hurt. Stone Edge coming through. Holy cow. This is just... This is uh, a butt kicking this game right here. Aerial Ace gets shielded. In comes Claude. Okay, so that's not great. The opponent probably should have swapped Claude... Right? Because the opponent wasn't switch locked and we were switch locked. So, bit of a mistake by the opponent here. But gets off the close combat. Honestly, at this point, yeah, just let the Machamp go. Close this game out with low kicks. Earthquake knocks out. You can uh, save one shield for the. Uh, or, sorry. Yeah, no, shield this for sure. And then. Um, yeah, you can even take an Aerial Ace if you want, but might as well just get rid of it. And then throw another attack at the Clod Sire for a GG. Gonna throw the X's are here. Should be enough from this low of health range. And low kicks. Going to show what it can do after Machamp has been uh, stealing the show lately. Here we go. Clod Sire amazing lead into a Spark Charger Bug. No reason to run Spark, really. I think you want to always run uh, Volt Switch. It's just a much better move. Um, all right, here comes Gudra. Gudra is pretty neutral against this whole team, so going to stay in for now with Claude. And I don't mind this play at all. Going to shield. I don't necessarily love the shield, but I guess maybe he wants to preserve some health on Claude for that, um, for that charge bug. I guess that makes sense. And does get the full sucker punch down. That's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Goes for the X's. Or at first I was like, oh no, we're throwing an alignment. But then it's a uh, spark. So I was like, that's fine. We throw after two. We get a charge attack priority here. This is amazing. We get this off. And then we can just let this go. Maybe karate chop down with Machamp. Set it up as our closer. Our... Mariano Rivera or Aroldis Chapman. It's more of an Aroldis Chapman. It throws heat with these close combats. Oh, baby. We just double up. We double up so we don't 
debuff our defense early. First close combat. Gets the shield. Second close combat. I think is going to say bye-bye to Shadow Marowak. Oh my goodness, dude. The neutral damage is absolutely ridiculous. Here we go. Umbreon. Um, I mean, could consider swapping, right? You've got two better answers in the back. But this is neutral, so this is not like a bad matchup by any means for Claude Sire. So, okay, going to store energy and then switch. I like this. Lures out Drapion. Not that bad. Especially if they don't have um, Sludge Bomb. Like, you're not really threatened by the first move too much. And yeah, this is just an Aqua Tail, I believe. So, can take this no problem. Drapion will outpace. Do you consider shielding? Yeah, you shield, you sucker punch down. And this way, you can align your Machamp with that Umbreon. And if Umbreon comes in, you're going to get off some Exodus here. Goes for Air... Uh, goes for the... Trailblaze here. Exorcist would be the better move of choice in terms of being like single resisted, but that's fine. And now, this is honestly though where close combat might be a slight hindrance. Just because if they shield, then they just go like, well, they just, maybe anyway, they can just go straight foul play at this point, but oh gosh, bye bye. Maybe not. Maybe they were expecting, oh, I live the, uh, <laughs> they were expecting I live the, um, the, uh, I can't think, the cross chop. So they didn't shield. Yikes, dude. And now we see this matchup again where Ariados, the spooter, the itsy bitsy spider. Not so itsy bitsy, actually. It's probably pretty big, but it is not. Where it wants to be against Claude's high here. It's a very dominant matchup for Claude. They let it go. G to the G. God Dragon is the next opponent. Claude into charge. Okay, Raj. How are we winning all these leads? Here we go. Champ into Dunsparce. We can take the first. Yeah, I like the no shield here. Can do four and throw, right? Here we go. Four and throw. Perfect. And this is going to one-shot the... Oh, no. They better shield this. Trainer, you just saw close combat. Please shield. Okay. And this just looks really dominant, yeah. Pretty RPS game here. Not a whole lot the opponent can really do. Hydro Cannon going to get shielded. Oh, my gosh. They switch in Charger. Yeah, this is just not happening. I would, If I was the opponent, I'd, I'd top left as well. I don't blame them for top lefting there. Amazing lead. And uh, here we go. Pharaoh Thorn, Shadow Variant. Um, these Karate Chops are really chunking. This is where, like, the having Cross Chop would be kind of nice, just in the sense that Cross Chop is all you really need, so you don't really have to debuff yourself, but Close Combat is still fun. Close Combat, bang! Bye-bye, Pharaoh. In comes Salazzle. Oh, my gosh. Don't let it through, Trainer. Trainer, please. For the love of all that's good. Oh, no, trainer. Trainer. The Salazzle was so young. Oh, we're changing the team for the last game. I like it. I like it. We didn't mention this in the submission, I don't think. But if it's only for like one game, that's fine. I appreciate the uh, bonus battle. Obama Snow Ursaring Machamp. And uh, here we go. Shields coming up. Stone Edge is revealed. Another Weather Ball coming through. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Icy Wind. And uh, you might still knock out. even after, Let's see. Yeah, still knocks out even after the debuffs. But you don't really want to go down to zero shields with this backline, right? So I kind of understand the no shield. I think it makes more sense, probably. Goes for the Swift. Has the double Swift. Let's see how much this does. Oh, gets the shield. Oh, oh, okay. Was getting a little bit greedy there because the Superior could have thrown first. But, um, I don't know why we're not close combating, right? The shields are down. They aerial ace. I guess we don't want to debuff ourselves, and this should knock out. Is Machamp going to even get to see the last Pokemon? Let's see. Oh, we're, we're swapping right away. Oh, God. 
Well, this is kind of bad. Hydra Cannon knocks out. We have to throw after five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go, baby. Ursa Ring. The bear. The grizzly bear. That was a little bit uh, too close for comfort. Too close combat for comfort. But uh, a very fun video from uh, Raj, who uh, submitted another video recently. So thank you, Raj, for the cool submissions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on Spicy Saturday. We like to have fun. And uh, if you guys want to submit your battles as well, always feel free. There is a Google link in the submission. Um, and uh, yeah. Also, make sure to try and fill out all the information because I've gotten a few submissions lately that either the link like doesn't work or it's like a random YouTube video someone posted. And like, I'm not going to take the time to download someone's YouTube video or also like maybe the information of the move sets are not there. And that just takes like a little bit extra time for me or editor Chris to uh, to like have to look through to like make the graphics and stuff. So if you could like fill out the information that's asked, if you submit battles, I would appreciate it. And uh, if you enjoyed the content, Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're new around here, comment down below. All comments are appreciated. They help out the YouTube algorithm. All that said, thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.